I just can't believe it. You really did it, didn't you? I'm so heartbroken right now, I mean... You were supposed to love me, and no one else. <sighs> but even though you're basically cheating on me, I can't be mad at you. I can never be mad at you. You're just too cute, too sweet, too innocent to be mad at. Especially when you're tied up to my bed like this, gagged and sleeping like a rock. Maybe I should have just waited until the morning and calmly explained to you why it's wrong of you to like other girls. Or maybe I should just never mention it and just go on with my plan to take you for myself. I mean, does it really matter? Stockholm Syndrome will kick in after a while and you'll love me regardless. <sighs> no, I can't let this go so easily. I need to wake you up and make sure that you know that you can't love that... ...fucking slut. I need to make sure that you know that I'm the only girl for you. That no one else deserves you but me. Okay. Wake up. Wake up, darling. Darling, please wake up. There we go, that seems to have done the trick. Now listen here, my love. I know you have a lot of questions right now, like... Where are you? What happened? Why are you tied up and gagged? Why did your classmate do this? And I'm gonna tell you everything, but I need you to stop struggling, alright? There is no need to struggle anyways. I won't hurt you. In fact, the opposite. I will give you all the love and attention that you deserve. The only thing I'm asking for in return is that you obey me and let me take care of you. That wasn't a question, by the way. It's not even up for debate, so you can stop shaking your head now. Struggling won't help anyways. I tie these ropes really tight just to be safe, but don't worry, my love. I will loosen them when I know you are more trustworthy. So stop struggling. It's really distracting me, and I need all your focus on me, not on those ropes. Please, sweetie, stop. Darling, do I really have to get out the knife this early? There we go. So much better when you're calm like this. Don't worry, darling. I will not use the knife unless you give me no other choice, that is. But as long as you're obeying and don't make me mad, I won't use it. Well, now that I have your full attention, I'll explain everything to you. Let me just move on over to the other side so we can get more comfortable, okay? I was coming over to you so that we could work together on our school project. I think it was history or maybe social studies, but honestly, I don't remember. All that was on my mind at the time was you. I was thinking about how excited I was to finally spend an entire day with you. Oh, it was going to be perfect. Us and only us two together alone in your house. I can't put into words how excited I was to finally see you and start my plan to finally make you mine. I was thinking about how I was going to secretly take pictures of you while you weren't looking. I was going through all the flirty pickup lines I would be saying to you. And thinking about if they were maybe just a bit over the line. I checked at least ten times to make sure that I didn't forget the sleeping medication. Long story short, I came over, we talked a bit and worked on the project. I took a few pictures of you while you weren't looking and after only about an hour, I managed to slip a few drops of your medicine into your tea that I'd offered you. You drank it all up like the good little boy that you are. It, it didn't take long. After a few minutes, you'd already dozed off and you were sleeping like an angel. I mean, you basically already are an angel. You're my little angel. <laughs> After that, I just had to tie you up, gag you, and then take you here, your new home. God, the car ride was stressful. I kept thinking to myself, What if someone sees me putting you in my trunk? Or worse, what if the police stops me and searches the car? But luckily, nothing like that happened. Then, after I came back home and tied you to my bed, I searched you. I found your phone. And it had a notification that made me, well, uneasy. You see, you'd received a text from someone called Ari with a little red heart emoji. 
she wrote, and I quote, Can't wait to come over again. Last time was such a blast. When should I come over? The six sound good. I'm gonna take off your gag and you're gonna tell me about this Ari bitch. And I swear, if you as much as let out a single sound, I will cut you, you understand? Good, good. I don't want to hurt you, and I bet you wouldn't like that either. So, please, for the love of God and all that is holy in this world, do not scream. There we go. So, who is she? If I will hurt her, well, I can't promise anything. I'll need to see how much she likes you before I decide if it's worth it. I gotta get rid of the competition, you know. I want you all to myself. Now tell me. Who is she? <laughs> Bullshit. I know she isn't your sister. You don't even have a sister. <sighs> I don't want to hurt you, but if you keep lying to me, then I might just have to punish you a little bit. Do you feel scared when I ever so gently slide the backside of my knife across your face? Slowly but surely pushing it a bit harder into your skin. And all it would take for me to cut you would be to flip it. I might accidentally cut you if you squirm too much. Of course, I wouldn't want to cut your beautiful face, but your body on the other hand. I mean, do you really need those fingers now that I'll take care of you for the rest of your life? Or... Maybe I should take those legs as well, just in case you might try to run. Or maybe I could just not cut you if you promise to behave and be good. Do you promise to obey me and do what I say? I didn't hear you say it. Say it again a little louder. Say, I will be a good little doggy and do everything you ask me. actually said it. Oh, you're so adorable. Mwah. Now, doggy, what's the password to your phone? Good, that's what I like to hear. You just told me straight away this time. Didn't even hesitate. Now, let me just open your phone and go into messages and see who this Ari person is. Hmm. Interesting. She was your girlfriend? Yeah, I suspect that. Oh my god, look at those nudes. She is such a slut. <laughs> I swear to god she only liked you because of your body. Oh, don't even try to defend her, she's clearly a slut. I bet she was cheating on you as well. Oh, come on. Look at her. Look at the messages she sent you. It's so obvious she only wanted you for your body. You don't deserve her. You deserve me. I want you because I love you. All of you, not just your body. I want to take care of you and give you all the love and attention you deserve. I swear I will make you much more happy than she ever could. Now, I'm just going to send a message to your ex-girlfriend. There. I told her how much of a slut she is and that she needs to leave us alone and that you want to break up with her. Yes, I know you don't want to, baby, but you don't have a choice. I refuse to share you with her or anyone else for that matter. And there, I blocked her. She won't be bothering us anymore. You're mine, sweetie. I love you so much. And I will protect you and make sure you stay with me until you realize you love me too. Don't be silly. Of course you love me. You just don't realize that yet. You've been brainwashed by her to fool you into thinking that you two would make a good couple. But I'll save you from her and make you mine because we are destined for each other. I don't care how long it takes. I'll keep you with me until you realize that I'm the only one for you. Until you realize that we two are perfect for each other. And that no one else deserves you but me. And when you realize that the universe meant us two to be together, you will give up all control to me. 
Then I will take care of you and make you the happiest person in the world, I promise. Now, darling, let me just get this gag back on. No, I'm sorry, sweetie, but it has to stay on. I can't risk you screaming for help when I'm not here. But I promise when I know I can trust you to behave, I will take it off. Now get some sleep, sweetie. I have some work to do. What will I do? Well, it's a surprise, but I'm sure you're gonna love it. You don't have to worry about a single thing. The next couple of months will be the best time of your life, I promise. Oh, I don't like to leave you here all by yourself. It makes me so anxious. Promise me you'll behave and not try to escape? Good. Now, I'm going to hang this knife right here just to remind you what I'll do if you try to do something stupid. I'll be back soon. Goodbye, sweetie. I love you.